in this segment, uh, I would like to talk a little bit about NEET coaching itself. Uh, students in large numbers from Maharashtra aspire for the NEET examination. But as the results have shown in 2017, 18 and 19 from Maharashtra state, uh, maximum number of students writing the exam of NEET are from Maharashtra, but the least success rate or the maximum failure rate is also from Maharashtra. So this definitely shows that there is a lack of awareness about how to study for the NEET examination. So this video I would like to shed some light as to what to do. First and foremost, you need to invest your time and energy to study for at least two years for the NEET examination. And uh, one of the features of the NEET exam which we have seen in the last few years is that uh, in, in physics, uh, in chemistry and in biology, all the three subjects, but especially so for chemistry and biology, direct questions are being asked from the NCERT textbooks. So at least for organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, the product based organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry and entire biology. Be thorough with each and every word and line from the NCRT textbooks. Direct questions are being asked line by line, word by word from these textbooks. So there are very good books available in the market, written by various publishers, MTG on fingertips, NCRT on your fingertips, a particularly good recommendation I can give you. MTG publication books for uh, biology and chemistry are particularly effective. So if you follow these books uh, along with the NCRT textbooks, uh, it will help you to boost your NEET marks tremendously. But mind you, you must invest two years of time to study. There are almost 100 plus chapters in the NEET exam syllabus. You can't study that in six months or three months or in a crash course kind of a format. Crash courses do not deliver. What delivers are long term two years courses for NEET examination. So this is the focus on NCRT is important. Thirdly, uh, what you should also understand is that the NEET examination is not as difficult as the JE advanced or JE mains. So it doesn't need any advanced applications of concepts, but elementary application of concepts is expected. You should be thorough with all standard formulae where you can substitute those formulae and get the answers. Those type of questions do appear in NEET exam in physics and chemistry. But at the same time, there are questions based on concepts and twists of concept. So therefore your understanding of the concept has to be very strong. You cannot rely on rote learning. In biology, probably some understanding of concept and predominantly rote learning will work. Maybe in inorganic chemistry also rote learning will work. But product based organic chemistry, some logic, some concepts are there. And in physics, it's a basically a conceptual subject. Therefore, some formulas will help, but application of concepts has to be emphasized. So therefore, if you are exposed to some studies close to JE mains level, close to JE mains level, I'm not saying exactly JE mains level, then it will help. Mind you, NEET exam is not as easy as the erstwhile MHTCT medical exam also. In MHTCT, there was only information based questions and only formula substitution questions, standard formula substitution questions. In NEET, besides information based questions and formula substitution questions, there are formula creation questions also, where known concepts, unknown problems paradigm is implemented. And therefore, you need to study for NEET in a different way as compared to what you used to study for CET, CET examination. Keep that in mind as you study for the NEET exam. If you follow these tenets, by and large, if you invest two years dedicatedly, you can crack the NEET examination. Wish you all the best. Thank you very much. God bless you.